Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jeweled Bay. I am Jeweled, here to sprinkle some jewels on you along your journey. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Thank you for your comments and your likes when these videos resonate with you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. Now, keep in mind my readings are general. Every detail may not resonate. And if you want a personal reading, that information will be in the description box below. So, today's reading is going to be on the karmic. How she is feeling about you, Divine Masculine. I mean... <laughs> Divine Feminine, yeah, how she's feeling about the Divine Masculine too, and how the Divine Masculine's feeling about her, and the outcome. Uh, I want to first say that I'm not doing this reading in any way to bash the karmic, because I believe we have all been a karmic at least once in our lifetime, and we had to evolve from the karmic state of mind to the Divine feminine state of mind and I'm not saying every karmic will evolve because this journey is definitely not for the faint of heart uh, a lot of us divine feminines have went within to heal and call upon our higher power and learn to listen to our higher selves and we learned what moves to make and not make so that we can become a better us and not all karmics are willing to do that, especially when they look at the Divine Masculine as their God, okay? And it's sad, but it's true. So, let's see how the karmic is currently feeling about you, Divine Feminine. Spirit Guides, give us clarity, truth, and insight on how the karmic is feeling about the Divine Feminine. Three of coins in reverse. Let's pull some more cards. Seven of swords. Two of staffs in reverse. So, so far, I'm picking up that she watches you. Um, she watches your social media, and she's trying to pick up on how you do what you do for some reason. Um, some of you may have a business. And she tries to do things to kind of, um, like if you're getting any weird emails for your business account or uh, any weird messages, wherever you take your business calls or business messages, some things could be coming off as a little bit weird and you already sense that it could be her. I'm picking up that yes it is with the seven of swords next to the three of pentacles. I feel like someone has tried various a times to, they came off like they wanted your service, your services or something, whatever it is that you offer and has not followed through. It's because they're being sneaky and just trying to like I'm picking up just talk to you or something or like I said figure out how you move the way you move maybe she wants to create a business like yours um but it still leaves her feeling confused <laughs> because <laughs> with those two of staffs in reverse it's kind of like okay I don't know in which way to to go because uh, I don't know how she does what she does um 
maybe some of you are tarot readers too and she's trying to figure out through you learn through you how to read so she watches you a lot under fake accounts uh, or something like that but with the moon card I'm picking up that something like then under see this moon with the face under some type of mass and secret um, at night possibly when no one else is around there everyone in her household is sleeping she does this also I'm picking up that if she's doing any type of magic to try to get your business to come to a halt or um, to stop your info of money, you already know that's backfiring on her ass right now. So she may have lost a job and that's why she has time to watch you now so much. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm picking up from that. Let's see what else is the karmic feeling about the divine feminine. The Knight of Swords in reverse. Under the Three of Pentacles. Three of Coins in reverse. Like I said, she tried to do something cunning to your business and it didn't work. Whatever it was, something to make people not want to do business with you or something anymore, or I don't know, I don't know. The Wheel of Fortune card. See, she knows that good things are coming towards you, but she wants to find a way. This is coming up under the Seven of Swords to stop that for you. She may know that the divine masculine is on a, on his way towards you too and she's doing sneaky little shit on the side to stop this try to stop this will from turning but I'm hearing that she has no power here and she's trying her best to keep the divine masculine in an undecisive energy where he can't make a decision Maybe she's doing some rituals on her own too. We'll see. How else is the karmic feeling about the divine feminine? Nine of staffs in reverse. So, she could be feeling undefeated by you. She could be feeling like um, you have gifts and things and stuff that she cannot possibly even try. <laughs> To compete with um, I'm still picking up that this karmic has tried various of times to like message you or something online emails yeah. just being a pest what the heck And the three of staff. So, like I said, she knows the divine masculine wants to come, wants to reach out to you and come visit you. You and your divine masculine could be at a distance from each other. And I feel she knows this because she's looking through his phone when he's asleep or behind his back when he lit. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is, this is the karma for you. What do you expect? So, I don't know. I'm picking up like the the Divine Masculine. Okay, they live together. And if he set his phone down to go to the bathroom or something, or just to go in the kitchen and make him something to eat, she's checking through his phone and she's seeing messages from you to him, or from him to you. Take it how it resonates. And she's seen that plans are being made. <laughs> she's seen that plans are being made that you two want to reconnect. Okay. 
I feel like the divine masculine reached out to you and she saw that. But it's almost an uh, energy here of she can't even confront him on that because she knows she wasn't supposed to be looking through his phone in the first place. <laughs> wow. My Estas in reverse. And you know what else she's picking up on with the Knight of Staffs in reverse is that the Divine Masculine could be withholding from her sex. Um, she probably when she went through his phone, she seen nothing but messages from just you and him and no nobody else. So she's picking up on that like. It's not even like really just about sex with him and him wanting um, side pieces and stuff. She's picking up on like he's not even like really trying to be a player here. That he really has some strong emotions for you. <laughs> Interesting. Page of Swords spying heavily, heavily, heavily spying. And she may just decide to uh, say something to the Divine Masculine about messaging you. But then in another instance, I'm feeling like someone is going to lose their shit and stuff is going to get violent. Because I'm looking at how he is starting to pull that sword out. So, um, Divine Masculine, you better watch back. It looks like someone might be trying to get violent with you. They're spying on you. Could be following you when you... Ooh. <laughs> I'm seeing someone follow someone. With this Knight of Staffs in Reverse and the Page of Swords. Someone's following somebody. <sighs> yeah. She doesn't want him walking away, so it may get a little bit violent. With this five of, five of Swords in reverse, she's definitely going to make it hard for him to cut her off and leave her behind. She doesn't want him coming towards you whatsoever to find from him. the six of swords guess what it's not happening nothing she do can stop the inevitable what the divine has planned she has no power here and she may be realizing that by now she's realizing that her spells isn't working that um her following and stalking the Divine Masculine is not stopping him from doing what he does. Uh, feeling how he feels about you. None of that is, is working. Four of Coins. So... She could be looking at the Divine Masculine as someone who is definitely holding back from her now. Um, not giving him, not giving her all of his money. Uh, she could be feeling just like he's, he's trying to save for this trip to go see Divine Feminine. She knows it. And, um, There's not much he could say or do about it at this point. How is the Divine Masculine feeling about the karmic spirit? How is the Divine Masculine feeling about the karmic? Four of Swords. <laughs> he wants to put this to a rest. He's like, I need a break. I need a long one. <laughs> I need a lifetime break from this karmic. She could be an air sign. I need a lifetime break. I'm exhausted. Um, look at, look at how he's bent over and just looking down. 
I'm exhausted. I'm overwhelmed. I can't do this no more, he's saying. I don't know what's in. I didn't take more than I could bear with this in the situation with this karmic. He's like, I'm done fighting. I just want to leave at this point. I'm done fighting. I'm not fighting with her no more, he says. I'm just going to walk away. Eight of Cups. Double confirmation. We got the Four of Swords and the Eight of Cups. If that doesn't say plain as say I'm putting this to rest and walking away, I don't know what does. The de the Divine Masculine got some type of sign about her. Look how he's looking up at that that eye. Look, he got some the see he got some signs from spirit from the spirit realm about her. And look at how that um up at the top is pointed downwards like it was just placed there like don't put no more emotion energy into this just walk away from it he's done if he hasn't already walked away I guarantee you he's walking away soon he's done here how else is the divine masculine feeling about the karmic spirit how else is the Divine Masculine feeling about the karmic? The Emperor. Like he wants to feel worthy of something more. He he deserves to feel like this. <laughs> Sitting on a throne. Being the best version of himself that he can be. Living his purpose. Fulfilling his destiny. That's what he. That's how he's feeling. And he knows with her he can't do that. She probably belittles him. Embarrasses him in front of other people. All that. That's not love. He wants to be with his divine feminine. He wants to marry her. And he knows in order to, to do this, he has to walk away from the karmic. That's why that four of swords and eight of cups came up. He wants to step into divine union with a divine feminine. He knows she's her twin. He's her twin, her soulmate. Divine counterpart. Not the karmic. Six of coins, six of cups. He misses her. He misses the divine feminine. And um, I feel like the only reason he's looking back towards what he's walking away from, honestly, is because he has, he might have children with this karmic. And he doesn't just want to leave them with her. Especially in her unstable state of mind her men, her mentality is off she could be bipolar um any type of mental illness and he doesn't really want to leave his children alone with her i feel like he's gonna definitely still be in the children's lives however he is going to do what's best for him while he's doing that like He's not going to be there every day like he used to be, probably. But he does miss um, the Divine Feminine. And he'll be going back for his children. For sure. If not to get full custody of them, but... Yeah, he's going to still be around for his children. The King of Swords... That's the one to me that says I'm putting my foot down. Um, like, also with the Six of Cups, I'm feeling like someone is getting a phone calls, messages that um, little John John needs you and he needs you right now and he, he needs milk, diapers, yada, 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 and I need it right now. And this is ha something that happens every day. 
but he's putting his foot down and he's going to do it in a way to where you know what I get my children what they need but I'm going to get it all in one one what do you all at once not day by day so I don't have to keep coming back I'll spend time with my children on the weekend or a few days out of the week but I'm not going to be here every day He's seeing here the tactics that she uses. And so it's causing him to be this king of swords with her. And put his foot down and say enough is enough. I see what you're doing. And it ain't working. You can't use my children against me. You can't do it. It's not working no more. So that's how the Divine Masculine is feeling about the karmic. Let's see the general outcome in this situation. The outcome in this situation, Spirit Guides, what is the outcome for the karmic, the Divine Masculine, and the Divine Feminine? There's going to be a couple of people who are left feeling despair. I feel like this is her, because I see two cups. It could be her, and I want to say the children too, because they're used to having daddy at home in the house and seeing him every day. This is true. Okay. Our, in general, her emotions are going to rub off on the children. So, um, yeah, that's sad. But uh, this is going to be the end result. It's just her feeling despair, feeling lost without him. I feel like the children are going to be all right, though. Knight of Coins. So... That's someone coming slowly with what they have to give. So, like I said, he's not going to just completely leave his children hanging. He's going to be returning back to give whatever he has to the children. Whatever they need, he's going to give it. Um, it's just not going to be happening on her watch and the way she wants it. That's why it's a night. And that's the slowest moving night of the deck. It's um, not like he's neglecting the children. No way. But it's just not on her terms. The way she wants it. So to her, it's going to seem hella slow. But I feel like he's always right on time. As long as he is um, still taking care of them. And they're not without. As long as he's right on time. Every time it's been a little bit of quality time with them so support what they are needing providing for them he's always right on time <laughs> and I'm seeing someone kind of just when he comes to give the money or give, bring whatever she needs she's just like taking it and trying to push him away like no you can't come in to see them like, look how he's kind of like, here you go. And she's like, ready to just grab and take the money. Um, the divine masculine stays composed, though, because he knows his children are around. They're watching. And he doesn't want to look bad in his children's eyes. But the karmic, she really doesn't care. She's like, give me the money and cussing them out. Like, no, you can't stay here and um, spend time with them. You take them out. You, you she's, she's going off. I feel it. <laughs> so he's going to be even hesitant to come, but he comes. You know, he does what he has to do. Also, for you, Divine Feminine, that Knight of Coins is giving me a feel that he is slowly coming around to give you an offer. And it's not going to be a big offer right away. It may be an offer to date or to um, 
be boyfriend, girlfriend, or something like that. Yeah. Two of swords. So, um, in the situation with him and the karma, they're still not going to be saying eye to eye. And the two of swords let me know that it's a lot of miscommunication of words that were said that are being turned around and just look at how pitiful this woman is looking in this two of swords like no oh, I don't I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna what I don't wanna hear it I don't wanna hear the truth I mean I just I don't know someone who's a good actress I guess <laughs> but then you know heartbreak is here for her she's somewhat in heartbreak because notice notice how in the serious swords there's no blood but it is someone acting dramatic is <laughs> what I'm picking up so um, once he's finally like away from her and broken up I feel like the contact and communication is very like um, like just harsh <laughs> the communication isn't good she's gonna be bitter you know bitter that he broke up with her and that he's not living with her anymore and that he just wants to come around to see the children it's gonna be not easy for her and this outcome seven of coins and this came up in the Divine Masculine's reading I did earlier in the Divine Feminine. The Divine Masculine is just, he's on the path of reevaluating his life completely, evaluating his job, evaluating who he spends time, time with, his friends, evaluating who he's in a relationship with. He's reevaluating it all. Look at all those coins on his shoulders. I'm here and I have the weight of the world on my shoulders. But at the same time, like this, um, Divine Masculine could be working two jobs too. Because um, I feel like he really is trying to save his coins to come visit the Divine Feminine when he has a chance. So he could be in saving mode too right now. But he's reevaluating a lot of things. A lot. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. So all that hard work is going to pay off. You know? He's going to be able to juggle. Not juggle. He's going to be able to provide for his children. Get a better job decide who he wants in his life that's going to make him feel like this and you know he is going to put forth the greater work and energy needed to give this nine of cups wish fulfillment and that's the outcome is that it's a wish fulfillment and it might not be a wish fulfillment for the karmic right away you know, but hopefully, maybe eventually, like I was saying in the beginning of this reading, she um, evolves into a divine feminine so that she can attract her true divine masculine. All right. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up, comment, and let me know how it resonated. And thank you so much for watching.